Leading with Productivity and Joy, Overcoming Taskmaster Syndrome and Tuning into Joy as an Inside Job. You're supposed to leave the office at 4.30 p.m. You see the clock, check just one more email, okay, and then one more, and before you know it, it's 6 p.m. Has this ever happened to you? Or you have three meetings back-to-back with zero buffer. You struggle to figure out when to get the real work done, let alone go to the bathroom. Sound familiar? If so, you may be suffering from productivity obsession. This video is about how to also experience joy. Ditch achievement addiction that seduces us into thinking the game of life is to be the most efficient taskmaster on the block. We learn to go through our closets and assess which clothing sparks joy, thanks to Marie Kondo. But what truly is joy? Marianne Williamson says joy is what happens to us when we allow ourselves to recognize how good things really are. Marie Kondo says it's a feeling, a little thrill. The first step toward experiencing more joy is to get out of overthinking, aka analysis paralysis, aka living in your head. There are two times we can't control, the past and the future. Finding joy is about getting present. Joy is described as a choice that defies circumstance. The question is, how do you want to choose to feel? We often do strategic planning and goal setting with our work tasks, but not often with feelings. Exemplary leaders are intentional with both. Here's a place to start. Do a current state audit. Set an alarm during the workday for every two hours for two days. When you get the notification, tune in and write down your current state. We know that the first step to change is self-awareness. So this part is a must. So many of us are brains walking around on a stick, devoid of awareness of feelings or our bodies. If your vocabulary is limited in this realm, find a feelings words word bank online to help. One leader shared her daily audit. She said, passionate annoyed, rushed, frenetic, antsy, spent, impatient, and everything is an emergency mindset. She was surprised to see the compilation of her list. After the two days continue on, but now notice the feeling and choose a shift. To add in the physical realm, use the belly chest brain rest method as described by one of our clients to help with noticing and shifting. Put one hand on your belly and the other on your heart and breathe. John Kabat-Zinn, a meditation and mindfulness thought leader, encourages us to bring meditation into our lives, which he describes as paying attention. You may even choose to anchor this noticing to a particular action, like when you wash your hands or at the end of meetings. This leader got clear on how she wanted to shift. She wanted connection, peace, and a don't worry, you've got this mindset. Research shows that stepping into gratitude is a path to joy. Gratitude is a path to being present. Have you ever eaten chocolate cake mindlessly, consumed by thought, and then looked down at your plate and wondered, who ate my cake? or forgotten if you've already soaked up in the shower? So how can we practice mindful action? We asked 100 people this on the spot question. We asked, what brings you joy? A common refrain was, huh, I know what I enjoy or makes me happy, but true joy, I don't really know. So start with a what makes me happy list of 100 things. Stephen Pressfield says, put your ass where your heart wants to be. So first clarify, where does your heart want to be? Then fill your life with more of what's energy giving than energy depleting. A powerful strategy for joy is connecting with your values. As Roy Disney says, it's not hard to make decisions when you know what your values are. Living our values feels good. For example, employees whose values are matched with their company's values report more contentment and fulfillment. 
Do a values creation exercise for yourself. Choose just three. Post them on your bathroom mirror and computer monitor and choose actions that are in congruence. Mihai Csikszentmihalyi, a founder of Positive Psychology, encourages us to get into the state of flow where we are experiencing achievement and creativity and well-being. When we live our values, we experience more flow. The bottom line is that we have the opportunity to stop operating on autopilot and choose joy. To do this, do a current state audit, practice mindful action, lean into gratitude, create your happiness list, and create three values to live and invite more flow. How will you experience more joy today?